I believe me and Tristan have had this discussion over where we felt uh, that Antonio Brown was either the number one or no, either number one or number two wide receiver, uh, de- depending on Duke Hopkins. Um, DeAndre Hopkins, I know I've got to quit saying Nuke because some of some of people don't know who I'm talking about. Antonio Brown's impact with the Bucks could either be monumental or n- almost non-existent. Like Chris Godwin has a finger injury. Mike Evans is doing his thing, uh, even though he's kind of he's heating up. Let's let, let's put it that way. He's heating up because, I mean, for Mike Evans, it's, it's been somewhat uh, of a slow year in that. Well, let's just take a look at the stats, shall we? Okay, Mike Evans has 25 catches for 318 yards. Now, that's not too bad, but for Mike Evans, uh, through, what, five, six games through the season, I would expect him to have closer to 30, uh, maybe even 40 catches, uh, especially Mike Evans, for as much as he gets the ball. He has six touchdowns this year, which is, that's actually on par for Mike Evans, so that's kind of good. But Gronk uh, has also been doing some good things, too. He's been kind of almost researching his career with Brady. I mean, 22 catches for 280 yards and two touchdowns. Chris Godwin, hope that finger surgery, uh, you know, he's, hopefully he's not out for too long. Um, Scott Miller's been doing some stuff. Ronald Jones, he has been absolutely, I've loved what I've seen from Ronald Jones. He looks great right now. He's running the football well. He's running it effectively. Um, over 500 yards on the season and four rushing touchdowns. I thought Levin, Leonard Fournette would have an immense more amount, would have a way more bigger, of way bigger of an impact uh, than he's having right now. I thought he would take the spot from Ronald Jones, but Jones is he, he's been a respectable running back for a long time now. Um, I believe since he was at I believe he was at Texas. I knew this guy was going to be something very special. Excuse me, USC. That's what it was. Yeah, um, yeah. This uh, USC. I knew he was going. I knew it was one of those those uh, those schools way farther down south. But anyway, point is, um, I knew he was going to be great. Uh, he's had three. Uh, he has had through the season three straight 100 yard games uh against the chargers bears and packers uh and last week i mean they got to win against a big win against the raiders might add like 45 to 20 uh he had 13 carries for 34 yards and a touchdown now not exactly the impact you would thought this guy would have but he's been kind of incredible like he had 700 yards last year uh and six touchdowns he's almost got that this season and it's not he's not even halfway through the season yet he is a guy to watch out for and on fantasy especially he's a guy that you probably might want to get um because when tom brady has a running game a good tight end, i.e. Gronk, some wide receivers, some weapons, a defense that isn't a slouch fest. This, I, I know we've been saying it all, all season long, but the Bucks could be pretty legit. <laughs>